The shark still looks fake. Friends of me on Facebook, with the exception of you guys from Santa Cruz, um, know that for a while I used to write reviews on Flickster. And for the longest time, I felt it was very, very inexcusable that I did not go over Jaws. One of the movies that's the closest you'll ever, ever hear me say is my favorite movie of all time. So since I've started doing video reviews and have retired from Flickster reviewing, I think it's time that I finally review this movie. Plus, it's near the end of blockbuster season, and this was the movie to kickstart it all. And because it comes out on Blu-ray soon. Shameless promotion! The plot is what it is. Giant shark attacks beach town, three guys go out to kill it. That's it. So before I go into what made this movie, with a plot like this, the classic that it is today, I think I should say what I got out of it, um, when I first saw it, like I did for Roger Rabbit. And as you recall in my Roger Rabbit review, I said this. Yeah. My first horror movie was Jaws, and that was when I was probably eight. So when you see a horror movie that famous at eight years old, it tends to have an impact on you. So I first saw Jaws at my grandparents' house in San Antonio. Uh, as I said, I was eight, and when I first saw it, I did like it. Here's where the impact happened. For about a few years, whenever I would go to their house, I would always have this fear of the shark coming out from underneath the bed or the couch, grabbing my feet with its jaws, and then dragging me under. I know it sounds really, really weird, but hey, I was stupid back then. What can you do? But as the, mo but as the years went on, I got over that and started appreciating it for what it actually is. So what makes this movie the masterpiece that it is, is that the acting is brilliant from everyone. Roy Scheider as Chief Brody, Richard Dreyfuss as Matt Hooper, and then Robert Shaw as Quint. For being the movie that launched Spielberg's career, he does an amazing job, and I think it was almost criminal that he did not get a Best Director nomination. But I do know where that Director nomination did go. And it had the best accident that could possibly happen on set. So as everyone knows, the mechanical shark used in the movie broke down all the time. And as a result, they couldn't show the shark that often. So what happened was the camera was used as the point of view of the shark, and that made things even more scary. My theory in horror movies, if you can't see something, it makes it even more scarier than actually seeing it all the time. That's why every Jaws impersonator and its sequels fail, because they keep showing the shark. And to make th these scenes even more scarier with the shark, there's the oh-so-famous John Williams score that is one of the best things in the world. So good that you even saw me use it in my intro. The man is a genius. He can do no wrong. And this movie is... Love it. There is absolutely, absolutely nothing I did not like about this movie. At all. Flawless. Nothing wrong. Six stars, if you haven't guessed already. You have to be insane not to love this movie if you've seen it, and you are not a true film fan if you can say with a straight face, I hate Jaws. See, I can't even do it. If you haven't seen it yet, now. Another thing that creeped me out about this movie, seeing it at eight years old, is when the third victim, if you want to count the dog as a victim, is a kid in the middle of the ocean, on a raft, and he happens to have the same name as you, that shit will mess with you for a while. So that's my review of Jaws, and... You know, I kind of feel bad that I've had nothing but a stream of positive reviews. So for the next couple of reviews, I think I'm going to review shit. But what is there for me to review? Ow! What's this? Mother